Oh shit! No, my boat! What's going on everybody? Dregas here and we're back with another episode of Crossout's Best Creations. Now if you've never watched one of these, this is a series where I check out the exhibition for both good and bad creations and we just play around with them for a little bit. So I think I got a good mixture of both competitive creations as well as funny creations today. Uh, a few things we can possibly check out. We're not going to get to all of these, but we probably will over time. I mean, there's a fucking Viking boat. That is badass. We're definitely going to check out that one. Uh, but yeah, the first one we got is Archer 3. This is obviously a competitive design. A lot of the high-tiered players are using these lightweight um, structure parts, and I can see why. It just makes the craft so much lighter, but it also still has a decent amount of defense. So yeah, this thing... Pretty damn interesting. I've never actually used some of these rockets that are not heat-seeking, so it's going to be fun to try this thing out. And it does a ridiculous amount of damage, as you can see. Got a harvester on the front as well. This is pretty much a top-tier creation. You can't get much better than this. And you can see that it pretty much decimates things right away. So let's get into a game or two and see how I can do with it with some high-tiered gameplay. I think it's actually over 6k power score. So yeah, this is one of the biggest creations that I've ever played in PvP. Okay, and here we are in our first game. You can see by the power scores, I have a drastically higher power score than most people here. Homic's pretty close to me. He's actually on my team as well, though. So, from a power score perspective, I should do pretty good here, but that's not going to happen because these guys are veteran players and I'm kind of a noob, let's be honest. I'm going to do my best, though, and hopefully I don't let down my team. Okay, we're pushing up on the train tracks once again. It seems like most of my teams here. Holy shit, that is a big-ass creation. I've never actually saw tires on top of a creation. There we go, enemy destroyed, coming in for the next one. Come on, reload quickly. Good thing he's got tank tracks, so I can hopefully utilize this harvester a bit. Missed him, but I'm doing a little bit of damage here. <laughs> I can't seem to turn around quick enough, goddamn. Oh shit, is that guy gonna win it? Denger just beat us. We were actually holding him off uh, with two guys fighting him, but I believe they ki they died, so he of course capped the point before us. That is ridiculous. Okay, Denger, the MVP of last game. You know what? I'm gonna follow him. He clearly knows what he's doing. He just took down a team of what? I think there was at least four left, and we lost to him. That's just embarrassing. Looks like he's got miniguns on that thing. That's one thing I haven't tried yet, was the miniguns, so I'm really excited to try those as well. Uh, let's see if we can throw some random rockets and maybe get a hit on Homix. Nope, I didn't get one. Okay, but I'm coming up close and personal. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. He's got a pretty big gun, and we did fall down. God damn, look at some of these designs. And this is the problem of playing high-tier player scores. Some of these designs are absolutely amazing, and obviously the players behind them know what they're doing as well. Yes! <laughs> that was great! God damn, I love these rockets when you can actually connect them. They do so much freaking damage. Oh my god, I should probably look before I go over a freaking corner. Alright, you know what, let's try and get this guy if we can. If we can hit him with anything, that'd be great! Oh shit, you know what, I should probably pull back. I have two wheels, but I'm going to try and help you! Thankfully, they're each on one side, so I can kind of control this. Obviously, not very fast, though. All right, get out of my way, Homix. I'm trying to get in. All I got is a harvester left, damn it. Oh, God, this is just... What, what the fuck are we doing? Are we doing a dance here? All right. <laughs> Please. I'm just trying to harvest them. All right, let's probably get out of Homix's way. He's clearly doing much more than me. Oh, yes. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, come on. Don't turn this way. I just want to get my harvester in there. <laughs> yes. I literally touched him, and I got the kill assist. Okay, so that was the Archer 3. I was hoping to give it some more time to get some better gameplays, but we got a lot of things to go through, so let's keep moving on and go to kind of like a casual creation. I keep looking at this Viking boat, and I just have to try it out, so let's load this sucker up and see how it is. It looks like it's got actually four machine guns on the front. That might be competitive. Look at the attention to detail, too. That's actually, for the limited amount of resources that we have in Crossout, that's actually a pretty realistic-looking boat. I'm actually impressed. Let's test drive this sucker out really quick quickly. Uh, is it actually going to make it through the damn door? We've, we've had issues making it through the door before. But yes, nothing amazing with this one. We just got some machine guns on the front and uh, obviously a very pretty looking Viking boat. Avast me scallywags! 
<laughs> Look how big this thing is. Everyone's got a competitive creation here, and I'm on a fucking bow. This is just great. I don't even care if I suck, because there's nothing better than coming up on the enemy with a boat. Well, it looks like most of our team's going through the cave system, so that's good. We can go right up to the actual base if we want to. Uh, of course, we got some bots here. Let's just start throwing out some, some machine gun fire, and hopefully we can get a kill. Oh, this boat takes a long time to turn around. Jesus Christ, I'm not used to that. Come here, Abigail. I want a free bot kill. Oh, God, Abigail, don't beat me. That would be so embarrassing. Please don't beat me. Oh, God. My boat, it's gonna sink. Oh, wait, we're not in water. Never mind. <laughs> she just ran into a fucking rock. Okay, yeah, this is this is not good. I'm being beat by a bot, guys. This is not the most competitive creation, and I'm not the best at aiming. So, you know what? I'm gonna pull back because I only got one machine gun left. Oh, shit. It. Man overboard! What the hell? It's so top-heavy, I just casually flipped, turning ever so slightly. Oh, well, we win, so I guess I did good there. <laughs> I don't know. My god, this thing needs some more firepower. Oh, yes, those ones and twos that I'm doing. There's so much friggin' damage here. All right, I'm trying to get out of my guy's way, but this boat is really heavy and hard to drive. Come on, just do a little bit of damage. Kill assist. God damn, this, this weapon placement is the worst because I got this stupid front thing going on that pretty much hides a lot of my fire, as you can see. Oh, shit! No, my boat! Oh, God, this thing is just unbelievably bad. <laughs> like, yes, it's very pretty to look at, but I can't do anything with it. So let's just try and cap the point, shall we? It's not like I can do much else right now. Well, that didn't work out now, did it? Okay, I have altered the boat a little bit, uh, kind of make it a little bit more realistic. We got two cannons on the side now. I guess technically in Viking era they didn't have cannons, but I want to make this into a pirate ship, damn it. Uh, I also added a sight to this, so hopefully, I'm actually worried about this thing toppling over though. Uh, so let's try one at a time here. Oh, the shake is ridiculous. It actually took the aim off of my other cannon, so that is a serious issue. And let's actually try and shoot both of them at the same time. I have a sneaky suspicion that, yes, it's gonna fall over. So I gotta shoot one at a time, that's very important. This is gonna be one hard creation to do well with, but I'm gonna try my best, damn it. Let's give it one more chance. Okay, there's an enemy right here. Let me see if I can get his hit off. Nope. Oh, another one. <laughs> oh my god. This is so bad. Adding a high recoil cannon to this boat so it pushes sideways. Just a bad idea. Considering <laughs> how top heavy it is. Kroll, just let me freaking die. I'm embarrassed. Okay, let me actually see if we can get a shot off here. Oh yeah, there we go. Come on. Oh, fuck. I shot the wrong one. Come on. I gotta straighten myself out. Every time I shoot, I literally can't shoot my other rockets. Come Oh, fuck! This is fucking awful! <laughs> well, at least this map seems much more fitting for my boat. Just a lot of dead boats, and I'm assuming that's what's gonna happen to this boat in a couple seconds here. Holy shit, these guys came over quick. Like, I literally just left. You can see my freaking thing right there, and we already got bots over here. Let me see if I can... Oh, oh, oh. God damn it, why did... It was sliding down the mountain, and that's why my uh, aim turned. Anyways, let's actually try and get some of the real people. Get out of my way, guys. I'm trying to aim up. Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. Yes! Damn, how did I miss that? That was right on top of him. Did I? There we go, 119. Come on, reload, reload, reload. Oh, shit, what is going on? Oh, I'm, I, I, I fucking flipped over again. I'm so surprised. Okay, guys, well, let's let this Viking boat die because, well, clearly it's not a very competitive creation. It's just very hard to aim up, and when you do actually aim it up and shoot, you have to realign it once again. So if it was a bit heavier and a bit wider, I think it would be competitive, but with these huge-ass cannons on it, it's just not viable. Okay, and next up is the completely pointless Mega Cart. I mean, this defense is up in the air, so it's not really defending anything, and all the important stuff is down below in the open, of course. I mean, there's a little bit of defense down here. You can see it's kind of guarding the actual hull of the creation, but my actual gun really is kind of in the open. Anyways, let's see how good it is here and start shooting up. We do have also a random machine gun on the top. I guess they had the extra energy to put one on there, so why the hell not? Uh, this might be competitive, though. I have no idea. I think there's a lot of added stuff that would put the power score up a little too high for it, but still, we'll see how it works, and yeah, we'll drive a fucking shopping cart. 
Okay, and here we are. This thing's actually 3,000 power score. That is absolutely crazy. We are so screwed. Okay, here we go. We got our first enemy, of course, a bot. Yes! Clean up on aisle three, bitches! All right, there's another enemy over here. I'm being very aggressive with my shopping cart. It's actually kind of fun to drive. It's very easy to drive. Another kill assist here with Yago. Now, is there anyone actually at the point? We do have a bot down here. She's dead. Uh, it looks like the rest of the team is on the other side of the map, possibly. So that just means we get to cap the point and wait for them to come. It's actually, it looks like uh, we got most, actually only one person on our team has died and there's only three left on their team. So we're doing pretty good here. Is there anyone on the snipe point? No, the other snipe point looks pretty empty as well. Looks like we'll just be able to cap this, most likely. And we got our victory. Unfortunately, it was just a cap victory, but uh, let's try it out again, see if we can get any more kills. Okay, here comes the bots. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, they actually came up the top that time. Oliver, you crazy bastard. Oh, God, he's actually got one of the... Uh... Oh, no, don't look at me, you bastard. He had actually one of the explosive spears on him. There we go, enemy destroyed by a shopping cart. How embarrassing. Now I am being shot from the back. Let's try and help out over here though. This guy came up really friggin' early and <laughs> enemy destroyed. I love how I'm most competitive when I'm driving shopping carts. Fucking Bubbles would be proud of me. Okay, we got two guys here. You know what, I'm gonna try and stay low if I can. Oh, this guy's coming. I gotta help my teammate out. No, you do not fight him. <laughs> yes, we are annihilating them all right florence you are up next my friend <laughs> oh shit did i lose my big gun i hope i didn't lose my big gun oh no i actually lost my small gun that that, that was kind of confusing there we go and we got our victory i wasn't able to kill florence but that actually went really well i think i got three kills there Okay, well, looks can be deceiving. That was my uh, best creation yet in terms of being competitive. I think it was because we were at rather lower tier, and people in lower tier don't really know where they should aim, so they were aiming at the actual cart part when they should have been aiming at the bottom where my actual gun was. Anyways, we'll try one more competitive design here. We got this Rocket Up Mark II. This thing looks pretty damn interesting. Basically, a buggy with heat-seeking missiles on it. I've never seen something like this because it's more like a scout creation than what would be a sniper. A lot of heat-seeking mi missile builds are more snipers than anything. This one, you actually play like a scout and uh, hopefully you can lock these things on because the reload time is really bad as you can see. But you can get out of the way very quickly as you are a scout, so it should be fun to try out. I've never really tried something like this, so I'm excited to see how it is. There we go, coming in, bro! <laughs> yes! Oh, fuck, they're all aiming. Why are you guys all aiming at me? Like, look how many teammates I have on here. All right, reloaded, ready to go. Let's actually get the guy way in the back. Storm, it might actually go to someone else, though. There we go, enemy destroyed. Ethan, of course it gets the bot. Okay, I already lost one of my tires. I'm trying to keep back as far as I can, though. Oh, uh, there's still a guy around that corner. There we go. Storm, you better watch out, bro. <laughs> That's their coming in. There we go, another 600 damage on him. Let's go help out George. I know there's a few enemies over here. Oh, shit, maybe too many. All right, I gotta aim up. There we go, and oh, those ones are in the wall, but am I gonna hit the other guy? There we go, enemy destroyed for a thousand freaking damage. A victory. That was a complete success. I'm loving this thing so far. Okay, let's try that again. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stick to the outskirts. Generally, with a scout, you kind of want to do that. This thing extremely squirrely, as you can see, though. That would be my only complaint. There's obviously some weight issues here. Uh, aside from that, really fun, though. Okay, someone's fighting Ryan over here. Let's try and help him out. Get Ethan. Yes. Another enemy destroyed. Where the hell did that come from? Holy shit. Okay, here we go. Storm around the corner. There's a lot around the corner. I'm just going to randomly shoot and hope for the best. There we go. We hit two people. God, the reload time. So if this didn't have such a long reload time, my God, these things will be overpowered. Oh, there we go. Let's hit him up. That, that guy's got to be down, right? Got to be down. And nope, we didn't actually do too much damage. All right, everyone has gotten out of the way. Let's try and move up here a little bit. I'm going to actually follow. Oh, 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 oh. Can I hit her? Oh, shit. Of course I hit the wall. All right, Mona's back out. There we go. Pay a little visit to Mona and enemy destroyed. By far the best creation yet. I actually feel a little competitive and we are at a high tier gameplay right now. There we go, victory. And I was, I think, the lowest power score there, so I can't complain. 
Okay, guys, well, that wraps it up for another episode of Crossout's Best Creations. I hope you enjoyed this jam-packed episode of both competitive and just fun creations. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,